So installing Cisco Ice 2.0 here. Basically creating a new virtual machine. I'm using ESXi 6.5. We're going to want to select Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6, 64-bit. I'm going to use my solid state. Um, up to you what you want to use storage-wise. A uh, good rule of thumb, usually two CPU, um, four gigs of RAM is usually good. 100 gig hard drive. Make sure you do a thin provision to save space. Also, you want to select your ISO file, which I have already uploaded to my ESXi host. So I'm going to go ahead and mount that. everything looks good so we'll go ahead and click finish and now we can go ahead and boot up that new VM we'll go ahead and select number one for the standard installation This will kick off the installation automatically. It'll inform you if you're low on resources or if there's any requirements you're missing. This can take up to 20 to 30 minutes depending on your system. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part, and uh, we'll see you shortly.
So once the installation is done, you'll have to do the initial setup wizard. Now we'll go ahead and enter a host name. Enter a appropriate IP address and subnet mask. along with the default gateway. Depending on your network setup, you can enter your Active Directory DNS domain and DNS servers. Otherwise, the DNS servers will be your default gateway. I will go ahead and use the default NTP server. Select your time zone. We're going to leave SSH disabled. And we're going to go ahead and use the default admin username. Note that you cannot use Cisco in the password. As you can see, it'll throw an error. In my case, I have this machine off the network, so it will most likely fail on bringing up the network interface. As you can see, the ping failed. However, this is normal for me as this machine is off the network. In your case, this ping should succeed. Cisco ICE now detects that I'm using ESXi and will install VMware tools automatically. Once that's done, it will test your VM disk performance to make sure that is uh, sufficient. This NTP error is normal for me as my machine is off the network, however you should not see this error. From here, ICE has everything it needs to install. Uh, you can leave the machine until it will reboot and come up to a login prompt. So we'll go ahead and fast forward until that point. At this point, you've successfully installed Cisco ICE. You can go ahead and log in and test uh, your credentials, make sure everything looks good. Go ahead and do a show version just to give you an idea of what we're working with. In my next video, we'll look at the initial configuration of the application side and setting up some policies. Oh,